Over quarantine, walking my black lab hunter became my mental health savior. We'd walk him around our neighborhood probably more times than he'd like because he'd get off the couch slower and slower every time. We'd meet up with our neighbors who also had dogs because it's the only human interaction that we were getting. One day, my neighbor Mike asked me what tricks Hunter could do, so I showed them Hunter sit, down, and paw, thinking that we were showing him some pretty cool tricks. But when his six-month-old puppy Vienna was spinning around herself not only in one direction but two, I knew Hunter had some work to do. So after a little bit of practice and research, we went back to Mike and Vienna a few weeks later with our newest trick, playing dead. So now, Hunter was not only that big dog who could only give you his paw, he was that dog that people stopped on their walks so they heard that he could play dead and they wanted to see it for themselves. Today, I'm going to teach you how to teach your dog to play dead, tell you all the benefits there are to training your dog, as well as my tips and tricks for success. So let's get started with how to teach your dog to play dead. You're going to start by having your dog be in the down position on their stomachs. You're going to get a treat in your hand and close your hand around it in a fist like this. You're going to put your fist up to your dog's nose and lure them so they fall onto their side. When they fall onto your side, you're going to give them a verbal yes and give them the treat that's in your hand. Once you're doing that, you can go ahead and continue to lure all the way on to their back so their feet are towards the ceiling. Again, giving them the verbal yes and the treat. Once you're doing that with almost no luring at all, you can add in the verbal bang and handguns to make it a little bit more of a fun trick. The Canine Good Kennel Club also says that you can, when your dog is relaxing and they fall onto their sides, give them the command as well to help speed up the process of teaching them the trick. Eventually, they'll be able to do it with no treats at all and you have a really cool trick to show your friends. So now that I've taught you a trick, why is training your dog so good for them? Mary Birch from the Canine Good Citizen says that not only is it fun for the owners to be able to show off, but the dogs love it. They love getting their treats and the good boys, and they also love pleasing their owner by doing what the owner wants them to do. Not only is it also a physical exercise for your dog, but it exercises their brain, which keeps them really young at heart. I know for Hunter, 10 minutes of training, he's sleeping on the couch in no time, which says a lot because he's a really energetic dog. It also makes it a little bit easier to teach them more complex tricks in the future because they have this little basis. I know for Hunter now he can jump through my arms and do really cool tricks like that and he's also being trained in nose work which will help him one day help humans by maybe working for search and rescue or being a bomb sniffing dog in like an airport. So there really are no negatives to training your dogs just besides the fact that your neighbors might be a little bit jealous that your dog can do things that theirs can't. So Training can be hard and it can be difficult to keep up with it. So here are some tips and tricks for success. My first tip is just to have patience. It's really easy to get discouraged when your dog isn't doing the behaviors that you want them to do. So don't be afraid to limit your training to only 15 minutes at a time or put the treats down if you're just not having a good training session. You also wanna make sure that your treats are good, high quality treats that have a strong smell so your dog is more tempted to do the behaviors that you want them to do. Jennifer Lester from the dogster.com also says that timing is key. Timing from when you give the command to when you give them the treat, all is going to impact their training. Lastly, consistency. You've heard that consistency is key in a lot of aspects of your life and it even applies to training your dog. Making sure that you only give them treats when they're doing the wanted behavior and practicing often is all going to help your dog in the long run. While training your dog might seem like so easy and doesn't really have a real purpose, there's so much more to it. Today I taught you how to teach your dog to play dead told you why training your dog is so good for them, as well as gave you my tips and tricks for success in your training. While I may have started training my dog fueled by jealousy that my dog couldn't do what other dogs can't, not only does he have some cool tricks now, but he is happier, healthier, and much better behaved than ever before.